Hey guys, Virtus here and welcome back to the Unreal Engine 4 survival horror game series. And in today's video, we're going to be continuing on with our game and we're going to be setting up a simple objective system. Now, if you haven't watched the previous videos, I advise that you go ahead and check them out uh, so you can stay up to date with where we are, what we've created and make this system work as best as you can. Also, if you haven't watched the Unreal Engine 4 beginner tutorial series, I also advise that you watch that so you can easily follow along and understand. Anyway, so over the period of this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a simple objective system. And what this is going to do is we're going to have a little piece of objectives text in the top right hand corner. And then we're also going to have a piece of dynamic text which will change based on the player's objective. So having said that, I'll show you how to get a variable displayed on the screen for the player, uh, for the objective text. And I'm also going to show you how to reference it and change it in real time. So what we're going to do is set up a simple box collision, show you how to change the, um, you know, how to change the objective once the player touches it. So as he gets through the level, he can change the objective. Anyway, without further ado, let's get into creating this system. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my third person character. And because it's uh, player related, I'm going to try and keep the information for this objective system stored in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new variable. And we're just going to call this player objective for now. And as for the type, I'm going to change this to uh, text. Now, what we're going to do with this text is we're essentially going to set the objective in here. Well, what's displayed on the screen anyway. And once it does that, it's going to be displayed on the screen. And because it's a binding, it's going to be dynamic. So no matter where or, you know, where or how we change this text, it's going to be dynamically displayed on the screen. It's going to change and work great for you. So for now, I'm just going to set the player objective to uh, to have no value by default. Actually, now I'm going to change this to start mission by default, just so we, just so that we can actually see that it's displayed on the screen. And now that we've actually done that, we need to open up our HUD widget, and we're going to do a few things. We need to make two pieces of text. One is just going to be for aesthetical purposes, just to say objective, so they know what the text below it is for. And the second one is actually going to be for you know the objective system with the dynamic text so now that we've done that what we've got to do is go to content text and we need to create a binding and this binding is going to bind it to the variable and no matter how often or where it's changed from it will change to the new value and so as soon as we create this binding it's going to display start mission However, when we go further on and we start changing the objective, it will change it in real time. So I'm going to create this binding and from here we've got to do a few things. Once again, because it's stored in the third person character, we need to cast the third person character so that we can actually get a reference to the player objective variable. And once again, we need to use the get player character and hook it up into the object wildcard. And hopefully from as third person character we can actually get the player objective now and all we got to do is just hook that straight into the return value if I press compile uh, it, we can see there's an issue so let's have a quick look and see what's going on okay so it looks like there's some kind of issue where there's no binding uh, there you are nope that's not it so there's some kind of problem here I'm not too sure why um, but I'm pretty sure it's related to a previous version of the system that I created. If I go over to my text block here, set the binding to get text, open up get text zero, it should all work. So let's have a look at what's going on here. So text delegate on widget text block 54. So if I go over to designer, if I open up text block 54, which should be this one. I'm just going to quickly remove the binding and it should all work. So somehow there I accidentally added in a binding for the objectives uh, text. We don't need to do that. We're just going to leave it as it is. I'm going to compile it and I'm going to press play. And now you can see it says start mission. Now the formatting isn't too great so I'm going to show you how to fix that up. So the first two things I'm going to do is I'm going to anchor it to the top right hand corner so it doesn't float uh, all the way around the screen. 
And then the second thing I'm going to do is under justification, I'm going to align the text to the right. And I'm going to do the same for both of those. Then I'm just going to make it slightly longer on the second text block, just so that we can, you know, read the whole string, no matter how long it is. So if I press play now, you can see it's starting to look a little bit better. Now, there's only a little bit more formatting stuff that we need to do. And that's simply going to be just changing the color, changing the font size, and such. So I'm going to make the text here um, 30, and I'm going to leave this one as 24. I'm going to make it a little bit longer, as I should. I'm going to change the font to the Feast of Flesh one. Um, if you don't have the Photoshop document and the font and all of that stuff for the heads up display, don't forget that you can actually download it in the description below. So you should definitely check that out. And I'm going to change the color of this as well. And I'm going to try and match it to the hunger text over here. So I'm just going to use the little color picker tool and do it like that. So let's just go ahead and drag this out a little bit more and do the same for this. I'm going to press compile, save it, and let's see how it looks. So if I press play, okay, so there's some kind of error inside of Unreal Engine 4 where it doesn't let me uh, compile sometimes after changing the color. It's kind of weird, uh, so you might have to update it again. So I'm going to change the color again, compile, press play. If it still doesn't work, I'm just going to restart the engine. It's as simple as that. So I'm going to make sure that I save everything because I want to save my, uh, my scripts, you know, my blueprint script that we just set up to actually bind it all to the variable. So just give it a second to open up again and we will carry on. So like I said, all we've got to do is some basic formatting and the next step, what I'm going to do is show you how to create another blueprint actor that will actually change it and you change the objective and we can place this throughout the level. So for example, if you wanted to go through a door and change the objective from there, you can do. So we've got it open again. If we press play, you can see it's starting to look quite nice. It says objectives, start mission, and now we need to show you how to change it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click in the content browser and I'm going to create a new blueprint actor. And it's from these blueprint actors that I'm going to change the variable for the player objective. Now, you don't necessarily have to put it into a blank uh, blueprint actor like I am. You can implement it as some kind of gameplay mechanic or such, but I'm just going to do it this way for now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to name this uh, objective change for now and it's probably simplest to make a new blueprint actor for each time you want to change the objective but I'm going to open this up and I'm going to add in a box collision and hopefully it should be big enough for the player to collide with and under the event graph so for begin overlap uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pretty much just cast to the third person character just like this and as the other actor I'm going to hook that up into there and then I'm just going to set uh, player objective and we're simply going to change it to a new value so from this one I'm going to change it to say uh, find the hexagon key and I'm going to make a little expl explanation mark in there because it's cool I'm going to compile it and I'm just going to change the uh, chuck this in the level right at the top of the stairs so now when I start the game it says start mission when I go up the stairs it changes the text to find the hexagon key now that's pretty much a very basic uh, objective system that we've created here you can do loads of other cool stuff um, I've still got another video planned on how you can actually save the objectives so when they open and close the game it actually stays and we're also going to be setting up checkpoints at some point in the series uh, but for now thanks for watching comment like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video goodbye